Let's learn how to use the Taproot mobile app. This tool allows users to gather evidence in the field and sync that information back to your Taproot installation and vice versa. This is particularly useful if you may be in a situation where you temporarily have no internet connection. The mobile app is not the full Taproot root cause analysis tool as the critical techniques such as the snap chart and the root cause tree are best utilized in the software itself. However, it can streamline the process for investigators actively working on an incident away from the office. To get started, you will want to go to either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store and download the Taproot app. At this point, on your mobile device, you will have the option to choose whether you have a personal Taproot6.com account or if your company has a license. At that point, you will be triggered to enter the appropriate domain. And once that's entered, you'll click continue and be prompted to enter the appropriate username and password. These would be the same credentials that you use for the Taproot installation at the office. Once my login is successful, the data will begin to sync. This will include any investigation information that is available for checkout, and it also recognizes your location list hierarchy, your classifications, and any custom fields or custom tab information that you have configured in your software. Before we look at any existing investigations that we can edit, let's begin with a new one. So down at the bottom, I can add a new event, whether it be a, just an incident, an in, incident and investigation or an audit. I'll click the appropriate one, say OK. And here I can say, for example, arc, flash, and burn. The same required fields here. I would sec select the appropriate date and then the location. So the location hierarchy, which looks a little different from the interface in the software, but contains all of the different locations that have been configured, I can go down to the lowest level and select the appropriate one. Same with classification. Optional fields, as I mentioned, can be entered. Otherwise, you'll save and you'll now see the Arc Flash and Burn incident recorded in my mobile app. The icons here indicate the status of where the investigation resides. Currently, you can see this is just on my mobile device. I have not synced it to my office computer yet. And then again, these existing ones, I would be able to check out and make edits and additions to that as well. So here, just to demonstrate, I will upload the investigation. I will say yes. It was successful. So I can show you now, once I go to my software, I will sign in. And you can see here, without entering this data, anywhere else except my mobile app. I have the arc flash and burn initiated from the field with all of the information that I've entered so far. Going back to the mobile app, I will notice here that while it's saved, I need to sync and check it in. I was in a view only state momentarily there. So while it initiates that and sends it over to the Taproot software, once you're done working on this, and we're not in this case, we're gonna open it, then I will appropriately sync that information and send everything that I've gathered so far back. 
So from an attachments perspective, if I take pictures or if I take audio from an interview, videos, um, or if I have files on my phone or uh, my tablet, I can upload those and send those all back. You can create snap chart drop zone shapes, which basically this means you can create proactively some conditions and events that you will want to add to a snap chart once you create that using the full tool. So if I have in this particular example, <clears throat> the events, I can start recording the events. We'll say employee was sent to the site. I can save that. I can do as many events and conditions as I want. And I can save those. Including any attachments or supporting evidence that I may have found. So we'll say that I'm leaving the field, going back to the office tomorrow. I'll click on this icon here. I'll say sync and check it in. So if I sync and check in the event, it will validate. And it says it was successful. And you'll notice the icon change from showing that it was on my mobile device to being available for download. So let's take a look back at the software. So at this point, and I'll refresh since I'm already logged in, I still have my arc flash and burn with all of the details. And when I launch the snap chart, And keeping in mind that this is a new event, I have nothing on a snap chart yet. But here to the left, the drop zone. Any of the shapes that I had entered information into, I can quickly drag and drop onto my chart, chart and start to build the uh, snap chart appropriately, adding any additional information that I didn't actually do on the mobile app. Going back to the app again, I'd like to demonstrate some of the value in being able to check out these events. So Arc Flash and Burn we created as a new incident, but existing incidents that are available for checkout, such as Employee Sprain's Ankle, I can simply click the download. It's available for checkout, so I will check out the investigation. It will let me know that it's locking this from use in the actual site itself. And you can sync and check the investigation data when I'm done. So I will say OK and check out the event. With that being successful, you'll now see the icon has changed to show that it's on my mobile app. So from here, I'm in an edit mode here. I could update the name or any of the location information, any of my custom fields. I can add the new attachments that I found. Maybe if I went back a second time with a second set of interviews and pictures, I can add more shapes to my snap chart and any of the other custom fields or custom data uh, that we have put in place. Once I'm done with any modifications, I will go back to that same screen to sync and check in. And I will say yes. And now you'll see it's no longer my mobile device and back to the site. Going back to the site, on my home page, All of the updates that I've made to my existing investigation or the one that I initiated from the field are here and available based on your permission rights. One thing I do want to point out here is to be able to use the mobile app functionality and the data sync between two devices is that at the very bottom of this admin menu, anyone who has administrator rights We'll have this left menu option. 
So you will need to turn this capability on to allow the integration to work. So you can see here, yes, I have this on and making events available for app checkout by default. I have clicked yes. And I will show you what that means in the, in the actual investigation. So for example, in my employee sprains ankle, on my details tab, whether I was initiating the investigation from the app or from the software, the required fields here will be listed. And we have an item, once that it's enabled through by an administrator, make visible an app. So I can choose to have certain investigations not available to be able to check out. Um, by default, which was that uh, second menu item in the admin, we'll say yes by default. Um, you can turn that off or you can simply remove this check mark for anything that you don't want to be available for someone to use on their mobile app. Going back to the admin menu, and I will scroll down to the Taproot app. We do have some safeguards in place here. So for example, if somebody went out into the field and they had checked out an investigation and perhaps the phone got destroyed uh, or some sort of uh, situation caused the employee not to be able to return that data, an administrator has the ability here to check it in. So if there was one out in the field for employee sprains ankle, I can force a check-in as an administrator. I can see everything I have in here is checked out, but I can also see the latest actions. So I can see when it was checked in, when it was checked out, and also uh, anytime the data was synced in between. And an administrator can again force that check in. If something happened to be lost on a device, there will be no consequence of data loss. Going back to the app, I will just point out again in the upper menu here the work offline option. That will be critical in understanding if, uh, particularly for checked out events, one that already exists, you'll want to check that out before you go into an area that you don't have internet connection. So it will recognize that it's capturing all the data on your device, and then you can safely check that back in once you have an internet connection. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to support at taproot.com.